Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another really easy tutorial for you again. I really like the easy ones. Like I'm so done with spending hours on nails. I used to spend hours and hours on nails and I, I just look for efficiencies now. So we're gonna be doing a really cute sweater weather design. I'm starting off with Ugly Ducklings white gel polish and we're gonna just paint that on. Um, I did do three coats of this, I believe. And so you saw there when I turned the bottle over. So white is number 044. I literally just realized they had the number um, written on the side. So do three thin coats of that, curing each coat in between. And then we are going to top it off with Ugly Ducklings matte top coat. This is 100% the absolute best matte top coat I have personally ever used. If you have a better one or if you have other suggestions, please comment them all down below to help each other out. So after you cure the matte top coat, you are going to wipe off the dispersion layer. And then we are going to be hand painting the sweater design with the same white gel polish. And then you are also going to need some clear acrylic powder. Now I'm going to show you the easiest technique that I have found for um, painting the sweater design. So what I like to do is start off with two lines side by side. I ended up flipping the nail over because I just found I was able to um, center it better with the nail upside down. I don't know why. Um, so what I like to do is just do a line side by side all the way down the nail. I am using a very inexpensive striping brush. It came in a pack of three. This one was from Born Pretty Store, but I, I've checked and I don't think they sell them anymore. Um, it came in a pack of three. You had the uh, green tip, the red tip, and the blue tip, and the length of the brush was, was different. Now, I do wanna say I do cut a lot of the bristles off to get them as thin as I have these brushes. So now after you've got all your lines down, you are not curing yet. We're still working with the wet paint and you're just going to connect a line diagonally. And then that gives you your, for me, the easiest little S pattern for the sweater weather design. Now, obviously you can make the pattern a little bit tighter if you painted your lines closer together or if you did shorter lines like you can you can change the look of this you don't have to paint it exactly the way I did so now before you cure you're going to then dip it into your clear acrylic you can dip it or you can pour it over top sometimes I find when you pour over it it pulls on the gel so I actually um, do prefer to dip it straight into the pot of acrylic and then you're going to cure that and then brush off the excess. Do not brush off the excess before you cure. You are going to destroy what you hand painted. So now I'm just going to be doing stripes down each side of the nail with some cute little dots using a dotting tool to add some more sweater details. And remember, you are keeping the gel wet because we have to dip this into the acrylic before curing. Um, don't, don't be doing any flash curing um, or else it's just not gonna work. Your acrylic's not gonna stick. So same as before, dip it into the clear acrylic. Do not brush off the excess, cure first, then brush the excess off. So I did the other side as well. And this is your sweater weather tutorial design. I hope you liked it. I hope it was easy to follow. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please comment um, any other types of tutorials you'd like to see because I really am a true believer of sharing my techniques free with you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.